I wonder, what has caused more great men to fall? Their innate biological attraction towards women? Or is it perhaps the madness that most women gravitate towards? It's no coincidence that a demonic presence occurs when a woman, when anyone, becomes entranced with the vegan illusion. Despite PewDiePie having a past track record of vegan bashing, in his recent video where he makes a hot dog from his past job, he seems to have caved to his partner Marzia's dietary wishes, her plant-based desires. And this makes me wonder, is this all an act? Is he being paid to say this? Or are these influencers not as intelligent and methodical as one would think? <laughs> I mean, I can't imagine someone worth hundreds of millions of dollars with an Italian model girlfriend falling into this vegan save the world nonsense. It has to be a charade, right? These people live in a castle. Apparently, this is a classic Swedish street food. It's a hot dog topped with mashed potatoes, obviously requiring animal products, meat for the hot dogs, butter and milk for the mashed potatoes. But when he flashes the ingredients, it's not real butter, it's some plant-based nonsense, which is ironically far less healthy than the real thing. The modern media has the general public convinced that rancid vegetable oil is healthier than a natural animal fat. At no point throughout this video did he say it wasn't real butter. He actually insinuated it was normal butter. Olive oil? Question mark? No! <laughs> we're not Italian. We use butter in this household. Put olive oil. What's next? You want to put Nutella in it? Huh? <laughs> but for some reason, he does bring up the soy boy hot dogs. Are they always swaddled? They're tofu. Don't tell them! It's not soy, it's, <laughs> it's pure protein. It's made by intestines and brains, all that good stuff that you want from hot dogs. No, no tofu. Not in my kitchen. Soy cringe. At first glance, he has an obvious distaste towards the plant-based BS, as anyone should. Is he trying to put on the idiot show, like, hot oh, dog, meathead, soy is bad? Most people might not think so initially. It is possible that Marzia has been brainwashed into the vegan cesspool and that PewDiePie is stuck dealing with her dietary request to some degree, but even recently, just in April, he has spoken negatively about a vegan diet. I hope those people... <laughs> because then that wouldn't be vegan, would it? I'm vegan because of the environment. I think the meat and dairy industry just contributes way too much to our environmental issues. And so that's why I decided to go vegan. Saving the planet. Amazing. You know, there are good reasons to go vegan, but I, it's always this one person that ruins it for everyone all the time. He's playing both sides of the coin. He's suggesting that the ideas behind a vegan diet are correct, but they're not. Meat and dairy is so bad for the environment. I feel like I'm going back to elementary school explaining these arguments over and over again to a bunch of brainwashed children. I wish my videos were more popular and perhaps people had the intelligence to think objectively and not take everything at face value just believing it because it's in the news or 10 people told you it. The only effects man has on the environment are the chemicals and metals these lunatics are spraying in the air to poison us and block the vitamin D. Even if we wanted to look at current environmental data, the problem always ties back to conventional agriculture, the food system as a whole, but they want you attached to that food system and participating in it. So instead of being like, oh, go to a local farm, have a carbon positive impact on the world, they would rather have you buy the vegan crap under the charade that it's for the environment, when in reality, both conventional plant and animal foods are bad for you and bad for our environment. To be fair, that felt like a rehearsed answer almost like that. Uh... It does feel rehearsed. It's almost as if they put so much perfect brainwashing in the modern media to make all of these vegans, all of these low IQ suckers slop this up like a bunch of pigs. They are so generic and cookie cutter as most of the population ends up being. 
we are guided by special interest groups to become a marketable consumer. Whether you're a carnivore, ooh wee, keto dieter, paleo, vegan, bodybuilder, you're fulfilling a market so they can make money. That market doesn't involve local farms or growing your own food or supporting smaller businesses. Okay, I, I wanna, okay, I wanna, I wanna try and educate myself. Why not eat honey, all right? Why not? What's a good reason? All right, we got PETA here, all right. It's not unusual for larger honey producers to cut off the queen's bee's wings so that she can't leave the colony or to have, okay, that's kind of messed up. Have her artificially inseminated on a bee-sized version. Jesus Christ. That's fucked up. <laughs> I don't care. It's bees. Hootie Pie's behavior makes me think more and more he is playing that ignorant, meathead, soy boy bad character. He agrees and opens up that it's bad or cruel or whatever, but then says, oh, we don't care about bees. Playing both sides of the coin. Deception. That's partly to do with the audience he has, but it's all mind games, psychological warfare. Every word said has its own intentions to influence others and with what goes on in the world to deceive others. Maybe get the low IQ people to continue to not care and the moderate IQ people to try veganism. They're always guiding you along a path, making you think you have a choice when in reality, you're just choosing what they have to offer you. When truth be told, there are a lot of benefits from being a vegan. I wish people would focus that more on instead of just policing each other about it. Especially the environment could benefit a lot for it. Especially the f***ing bat eating would be great. How about that? We, <laughs> things could be different. So between his humor, he slides in the conventional wisdom, appeal to authority, the acceptance of everything at face value. This is the opposite of how he was acting a few years ago, where he was completely negative about a vegan diet. PewDiePie is the most subscribed to YouTube channel with 37 million subscribers. What in the fuck is he doing? What am I Don't doing? get me wrong, I love the fact that PewDiePie can make a living off of playing video games. You just answered your own question, ya dumb bitch. As great as it is to have an income from playing video games and to have the most subscribed to channel on YouTube, what good is it for? What good is it for? What? Why not influence people to stop exploiting, torturing, raping, and slaughtering innocent beings for food? And I would really appreciate that my 47 million subscribers, you, 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 first you turn vegan, and then you find the person next to you, and you tell them that you're a piece of shit who hasn't found their core message, despite any kind of accomplishment or, or abilities that they may have. If they haven't found their core message, tell them that they need to f***ing die. <laughs> Tell them that they need to find it, or otherwise they're a piece of shit, and you are ten times better than them. Now this brings up a good question. Why would the largest YouTuber attack such a small vegan channel on his platform? Why would he bring this up to his entire audience of 40 million people unless he wanted to give her publicity? This is a very common tactic they use to push various agendas. And you'll see fitness influencers do this in a way where they banter back and forth with each other to try to grow each other's viewer bases. By covering this vegan girl's channel, Pootie Pie was trying to build up her viewer base by exposing her name to his very large audience, negative or not. The thing is, that video back a few years ago was just a generic attack on her. He wasn't subtly trying to imply that a vegan diet was a good idea. But that's what he's trying to do now. I hate to admit this, this is so embarrassing. Um, but at one point, I even had to call life support because it was that bad as a vegan. It was really that bad. This is something that um, is really hard for me to make this whole entire video is just going to be a huge struggle. Um, as you can tell by the title of this video, I am no longer vegan. Hey, what can we say? Things change and uh, I guess the attempt to get that pretty vegan girl to blow up didn't work out so well and after four years, she dropped veganism like the sack of crap it is. Hey. Not all of these agents that are being used to brainwash people into veganism are that good at their job, you know? 
Raw Lyman tried the butcher box thing, hey, what are you gonna do? The understanding we can take from these videos is that when on a very large platform, these influencers have to be subtle with their message and fairly nondescript. Generally speaking, the smaller the person's viewer base is, they can be more adamant with what they do. Carnivore diet, for instance, small viewer base, oh, eat her dog grain fit, whoa wee! Stuff like that. Either that, or these larger people compromise losing a fairly big percentage of their viewer base. That doesn't mean that they're not gonna try to nudge people into veganism and expose people into veganism like PewDiePie's doing. Uh, on the other hand, they could tell the truth. And I don't know what would happen if such a large person did tell the truth because it has never happened and I'm not sure it ever will happen. As much as I like to pretend this is PewDiePie simping for his girl Marzia with the vegan nonsense, I'm not sure how true that is based on his previous videos and intentional publicizing of the vegan diet. So thank you guys for joining me today. And once you understand this stuff, it is discouraging and unfortunate that most things are fake and an illusion because then you're like, oh, well, if everything's fake, why bother? Why participate? And that's where you have to have a really strong drive to improve yourself, to try to become happy, to try to make other people happy, to make the right choice as opposed to the wrong choice. These people know the choices. Most people don't. Most people don't know what the right and the wrong choice is. But once you educate yourself, once you expose yourself to the information, then you can make that decision. So uh, thanks again for joining me today, guys. Uh, you can support me through all the various stuff down in the description below. Haven't mentioned my book in a while, The Ancestral Indigenous Diet. You can definitely check that out. Frankie's Syringe Meat, Frankie's Naturals, Organ Supplements. I'll do some updates for you guys over the next week or two.